about the cost of sending your child to uni. Martin Lewis busts some myths about student finance very shortly. But uh, first, our tale of the unexpected. And the last time this lady graced our presence, all kinds of strange things began to happen. Chairs moved on their own. <laughs> this music began to play. Who knows what could happen today because the creepy doll is back. Do, do, do. There she is. The creepy doll is No, that's back. a bit feeling. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see, the doll, after we saw her last, she was bought for over £800, I might add, uh, but she seems she's been up to her old tricks again, uh, so as you can see, we have Ghost Hunter, if that's the old in here, and also joining us, a psychic who's been working with the doll, and that is Deborah Davis. So Deborah, you didn't buy the doll, Lee Steer bought the doll. That's right. And he buys mm -hmm. haunted things, that's his kind of hobby, or allegedly haunted thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, and he believes that things did start to happen in his house, so he got in touch with you. So he what did. was happening when he got the doll? He sent me some footage of uh, what was happening at home for him, and it was quite incredible, to be honest. Um, I could see in one piece of footage, there was a picture moving quite a lot on picture the wall. Picture on the wall? Yeah, the doll was sat opposite. There was um, another picture where the, the frame was being broken off. You can hear it, you can see it. His, his father was scratched. Um, there was no scratching. The, the lady who bought the doll in here originally, who bought yeah. it, she said her husband was scratched on his arms and legs. Yeah, she did, didn't she? So yeah. do you believe that this doll has done that? Uh, yes, I do, because I've been scratched over the past week or eight days that I've had the doll yeah. on my arm. Um, and a friend that was that still, the house. Are still there? No, I have got photographs of it somewhere. Ooh, we look at your pic we'll look at your picture yeah. again here, just yeah. in case, in case someone thinks this is your thigh or something. No, that's your <laughs> that's your arm there. There's that. Uh, no, that's that's Lee's dad. Oh, that's Lee's that's dad. That's Lee's dad's arm. <laughs> yes. We're looking for a female arm that scratches on it. Yeah, that's Lee's right. dad. Okay. So yeah. Um, Lee asked me, would I have the doll? Would I give him my opinion about what's going on with this doll? To be honest, when I picked it up, I thought, uh, I don't right. think it's that scary. So you've been doing a Vulcan mind mould, whatever, with the doll here. What are you reading? What are you discovering? What is in that doll? Okay. The, the first thing that I got with this doll, it's almost like flashes of images that, that come to me and that show... Um, a person or a word, or, you know, it, this was a little girl. So the first thing that I had with this doll is a little girl. Maybe, maybe the owner of the doll? Um, I don't know mm -hmm. the honest answer to that one. Then the next thing I felt was quite a maternal presence, so mum um, of the little girl, but the little girl passed first. I feel as though that little girl actually had her life taken from her, to be honest with you. And that the, the mum, uh, when she had passed, her life taken from her as was, was killed yeah, by, by yeah. somebody. Yeah. And the, the, the nasty part of the doll is kind of a male energy that seems to come and go. And I feel that that's the person that was responsible for, for taking the life of the little girl. So why now, is Yvette, the from your point of view, you're here, Yvette's here today because she's going to be uh, taking the phone in. Uh, and the subject is, we want to know from you, have you been haunted? What is haunting you? Number there on the screen. Um, Yvette, in your experience, have you come across anything like this before in your ghost hunting experience? No, we've had, um, we've had um, haunted and cursed chairs and we've, you know, will you sit on a chair? And a lot of people say, no, I don't want to push my luck, I'm not going to sit on that. But in this case, um, what we could be having here is what you're picking up on is psychometry, which is where yeah. you take an object and you're actually picking up Hold on it. feelings mm -hmm. of, of, you know, of, of an object, mm -hmm. uh, people that owned it. It's not necessarily haunted. Um, I would personally um, like to take this doll and I would like, with um, your producer's uh, assistance, um, to run experiments on it. I'd like to film it constantly, live stream it. I'd like to put it in, lock it off in a room where only the producer of This Morning knows of, that I know of. I'm prepared to sit with it for an hour every night on my own and see if anything happens. Are you happens. spooked by the doll? Not at all. And I don't think that it is haunted. I think that with all really? due respect, yeah. I think you're picking up on psychometry, which is a, you know, has been scientifically proven. How would you explain the scratching? Lee says he was scratched. It's the previous owner um, said her husband was scratched. You said you were Yeah, scratched. it's not just the scratching. It's since this doll appeared in the house, my husband's wedding ring vanished, disappeared completely from where it would normally be. 
my earrings, weirdly enough, that, that were given to me by my husband on my wedding day. Have you not done Miss Lady's wedding ring? I think what Good. happens is, is, is you, anything that anything bad or anything like that that happens, mm. you kind of put yeah. it with the doll. And I, think I can it might understand be why you're coming. Well, look, we'll leave the three of you to discuss that as to yeah. what's going to happen next step. But thank you very much indeed, <laughs> Andy. Thank ben. you. We'll see you for the phone-in, yes, OK? Yes. Maybe bring your friend along for the phone-in oh, okay. phone as well. <laughs> very good. Right, but all this week, there'll be more